So, um, how's your mom with the uh, divorce and everything? Great. So my dad left it for another man. She's lost 15 pounds and got an eye lift. It's been good for her. Yeah. I, um, I'm really sorry. Yeah, I could tell. Since you never called or wrote the entire time it was happening. I know, I was just totally out of control at boarding school. I don't even know why you went to boarding school to begin with. And now you're back? You don't stay for dinner at my house? You're not drinking? What's up? Um, I don't know, just some, um, some stuff happened that made me wake up a little, I guess. I don't know, it's, it's, uh, it's personal. And we don't tell each other personal stuff anymore? No, it, just trust me, please. <laughs> How can I trust you when I feel like I don't even know you? Well, let's change that. You know, I, I, I know things have changed. I, I see you at school with Katie and Iz and... You know, I get it, but I don't want to take any of that away from because you. Because it's just yours to take away if you want it? No. I miss you, and I just I want things to go back how they used to be. You know, walking to school together, dancing on tables at bungalow, night swimming at your mom's country house. You're like my sister, and with our families, we, uh, we need each other. Well, here's some classic Eleanor Waldorf meltdown. If it wasn't such a tragedy, it would be kind of funny. Which it kind of was. Oh, I'm sorry, I missed it. <laughs> You're here now. Um, I have to go meet Nate. I kind of have something special planned. Okay, well, I don't want to keep you, but it's good to talk to you. I love you, B. I love you too, S.